everybody, how are you? If I seem a bit lackluster today, I woke up yesterday with a cold and I feel like a bus hit me. I, like, I never get ill. In the last few months I've, I've had like three colds and I feel so let down by my immune system. It's like you had one job and it was to stop this from happening. What the fuck? Anyway, on that lovely note, let's do favourites for the month of November, which has just been. It's the beginning of December now, and also October. Anyway, what should I start with? So, in a previous video, it was like an outfit of the day in like a mini vlog video. You saw me walk out of the shop and I just bought this. This is not the exact bottle because I finished that one and I bought another one because I liked it so much. The labelling is in German, but I'm sure there's some kind of English equivalent. This oil beauty soap scrub thing from Garnier oh it's lovely it's everything I want in a body soap it's got oil in it which I love super good for your skin it makes your skin super soft and it's also like a peeling scrubby soap so that helps make you feel really clean and take off all dead skin and it smells like incense oh, it smells so nice mm, I wish I could let you smell it it smells like incense. Ah, so if you like incense, you will like to smell it like this soap. Definitely, definitely a favourite. Next thing, you've probably all seen these. Maybe you don't think it's that exciting, but I do. Is this Labello Lip Butter. It's very easy to get excited about lip balms. For some reason, I get quite excited about lip balms. Anyway, so this is Labello Lip Butter, and the flavour of it is Blueberry Blush. And it tastes so good. Well, tastes slash smells so good. Mmm. I love anything blueberry flavoured so of course I wanted to try this and it makes your lips so soft and hydrated. Sometimes I think a lot of lip balms don't seem to actually make much difference or like they're really more about the taste rather than the moisturising powers. But this one has really helped for dry lips especially at this time of year when it's cold and it's a bit windy so you're more likely to get dried chapped lips. The next item is one that has dramatically changed my makeup routine every day and saved me so much money. It's one of those things that I always said that I would never buy. Okay, so my boyfriend had some, so I just tested it and I was like, wow, this is really good. So I went and bought one for myself. Don't judge me too harshly. But this is the Cryolan Super Color Clown White Grease Paint. Yeah, sounds gross. Grease paint sounds gross. But for the last few videos you've seen me in, this is what I've been using on my face and on my head and ears and neck and chest instead of my usual foundation. Normally I would use the El Masca White Skin Base Foundation. The last time I went to buy some, like the price of it was still the same, but the exchange rate had changed a lot. Instead of it costing me about 50 New Zealand dollars, which is already super expensive for one bottle of foundation, it became $80. And I was like, wow, great, I can no longer afford my foundation that I use every day. This costs 11 euros. I don't know what that is, maybe like $18 New Zealand, I guess. And it just looks like this. I've used it every day since I got it. And it looks like there's none gone. Like, a little goes a long way. And I found that if I apply it with a damp, well, this is a knockoff, a <laughs> beauty blender sponge, it goes on and stays on just as well as the expensive foundation. And I feel bad saying that because I love a La Masca. I really do, it's such good makeup. When grease paint goes on, it's kind of shiny, but with white powder over the top or translucent powder over the top, it takes away the shine and it looks perfect and it lasts all day. And it's kind of whiter, so it's a lot more like bright geisha white, which is actually what I really like, that's what I like going for. Definitely a huge favorite is this Cryolan white grease paint as a foundation. Perfect, looks really good, lasts forever. Like, I don't know how long this is going to last, but I'm feeling like this could last like a year if I used it every day, I don't know. I also don't feel so guilty about using it like on my ears and neck and chest and stuff because it's so cheap and a little goes a long way. Anyway, another makeup item, and I only have two of them here, are these Perfect Stay eyeshadow pencils from Asta. Can you see that? Is that going to focus? Yeah. 24 hour perfect stay eyeshadow pencils. This is a black one as you can see and I have this on right now and I don't usually wear blue eyeshadow but when I tried this out it was just the most beautiful smooth rich metallic blue that I I had to have it. <laughs> the only thing I can fault about these is that they don't blend very well. They do stay in place once you have put this on it is staying there and it's really thick richly pigmented, so much darker and more vibrant than using an ordinary black eyeshadow. Comes in quite a few different colours, but I just got these two colours for now. Probably my crappy camera isn't going to do this justice, but just take my word for it. That's beautiful. That's the black one. Boom. Look at that. Wow. 
The next thing I'm going to mention is something you can see right now, and that is these huge contact lenses I have in right now. Well, they're not actually that huge, they're only slightly larger than regular contact lenses, but they've got this really great enlarging effect. These are the EOS Candy Green contact lenses. You can easily find these online, but I got these ones from lensflavors.com. I'd never got anything from them before, but it's always good to discover another website that you can safely buy interesting contact lenses from. And I really love these because as much as they have an enlarging effect, they're actually really natural, I think. What do you think? I chose the green ones because my eyes are naturally green. I kind of expected that these wouldn't be such a vibrant green as they are. Like they're quite a lot brighter than I thought they were going to be. The thing I like about these lenses the most is how comfortable they are. You can't feel them there. They feel really nice and natural and comfortable. And they really don't tend to get dry or scratchy or anything. So yeah, EOS candy green big cute circle lenses. The last thing I got was some jewellery from Restyle.pl. I, like a lot of people, stopped buying jewellery from Restyle because there was this little thing about how their jewellery possibly contained high levels of mercury or cadmium. But that was ages ago now and they've brought out all different stuff and it does seem to be of a different material now. I'm not sure if that's just my imagination. But anyway, the first thing I got was this earring. Well, earrings, there are two of them. The other one is on my hand. I'll just show you that I've got one on there. And you can't see my other ear, so um, I'll just show you that there close up. So beautiful. Oh, yes. I love this. I'm very, very, very fond of like Victorian fashion and like Baroque fashion and stuff. So if it's possible, I'll try and like tie in a little bit of that style into my everyday looks. I also got these matching pair of hair clips. There are two of them, but here's one here. I actually have the ring of this. Most of my stuff is still on its way over here from New Zealand and I don't get my stuff back till mid-January. Anyway, I have the ring of this but now I got the, the hair clips that match these little like bat wings with black stone. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. And lastly, this bracelet. It looks a lot nicer over a pair of gloves. And I just want to show you. This is also from Restyle.pl. It's their sacred geometry bracelet and it is beautiful. I wanted it so badly. I need that in my life and I need to wear it every single day. And when I looked on their website, they were sold out. No! They were sold out for ages. And I was looking on eBay and looking everywhere for the same bracelet. I found like one for sale, but the person was charging like twice as much. Fortunately, they got them back out on the website, so I got one as soon as I could. And it's so beautiful. Sorry, just excuse all the cat scratches on my hand. So anyway, that is it for favourites from October and November. And now let us go forth into the lovely, cheery, festive month of December. But despite me feeling a bit like shit right now, I hope you're feeling good wherever you are and whatever you're up to. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my channel and make at least two videos every week. And as always, please take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye!